Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim. I'm standing here in western Washington under a late August kind of cloudy sky, not unusual for us. The boat shed's empty because the boat's down in the water. We'll bring it home about the middle of October. Thought it would be useful to show you around the boat shed while there's nothing in it, give you an idea of the tools we'll be using when it's time to put the boat up on blocks. This is kind of your standard Catalina boat trailer from the late 70s. This one came from a junkyard up in Linden, Washington. I modified it by taking out a piece of the extendable tongue, cut off about six feet simply because it was caught in the U-bolt with rust and it was too darn heavy on the tongue. Right now, trailer, boat, and everything weighs under 3,000 pounds and it's legal to tow in Washington State. This is a motorcycle jack I picked up at Harbor Freight for about a hundred bucks. It's used to lift and lower the cradle that takes the keel out of the boat. Hopefully we will not be doing that this October. This bad boy is the sawhorse that's used to hold up the front end of the boat, sometimes called the bow. It's made out of 2x10s, 2x12s, 3 2x12s for the vertical supports, some 1x4s for cross bracing, and it is sturdy, but it's going to hold up 2,400 pounds while you crawl under the boat, so it needs to be overbuilt. This pile of 4x4s is the cribbing that will actually hold the boat up in the air so we can get the sawhorse under it. They'll be far enough apart that we can actually just roll the trailer right out from under the boat. The 4x4s aren't enough. There's a bunch of other lumber here that I just saved up from various projects. This little device is made for old folks that garden. You can sit your knees on it and save them. And my knees are 72, so I'm kind of okay with that. But the real use for this tool is to lay your head on that little cushion while you're under the boat working away and sanding. These stairs are kind of a monument to my laziness. I got tired of climbing up and down a stepladder to get onto the boat. So I knocked these out in about a day and a half in my spare time. The platform is just the right height to step over the bulkhead and onto the boat seat. This is an important key to jacking the boat off the trailer. It's an oak beam that was given to me on permanent loan by my neighbor. And you could certainly substitute with a larger fir beam, two fir 2x8s laminated together with glue and nails. But this one is just the ticket, and you'll see in a later part of the video how this is used to jack the boat up so you can slide the trailer out. This is the stand that actually goes underneath the transom of the boat. This one's kind of oversized and has two ridges. The back ridge was used when I had the taller trailer. The forward ridge is used to actually support the transom of the boat, holds the entire weight of the back end, and it too is overbuilt and very stable. This, of course, is the cradle that supports the keel when I decide to lower it out of the boat. It's a little overbuilt, but hey, 500 pounds of iron, it's a lot better to be safe than sorry. This is our old RV shed. I bought it from my wife when she sold the RV. The boat lives in here in the wintertime. It's very nice. It sits up on blocks. It stays nice and dry. Keep all the hatches open. Wind blows through. No mildew, no mold. Lots of hemlock and fir needles, however. I spend about a day vacuuming out the boat before I get ready to commission it in April.